to my first video about my life in LA. I'm gonna start making videos about trying to make it in music. Because I feel like a lot of people want to move out to Los Angeles and pursue music. And that's basically what I did. And so I'm going to start making videos now that are gonna basically document how my progress goes and how uh, everything turns out. I hope everything works out in the near future, but we will see. My goals are, I have a few goals actually. I do want to produce and make my own songs and make a living out of that. But I also really like audio engineering and I like mixing and mastering and so I would be also happy with just working in the music industry. Yeah, so far I've moved out here and I've spent a lot of time producing, but what I've realized recently is it's crucial to just uh, meet other people and to work with others in projects because then you can just kind of get yourself out there and other people can help you and you can help them or the other way around and that might actually define uh, what your success is gonna be like. I was gonna go to the beach today and just to show all of you guys where I live because I live in Culver City and I'm about to 10 minute drive from the, from the beach, uh, from Venice Beach, but the day is actually kind of cold so I decided not to do that. So instead I'm, I'm just uh, doing an introduction video at my house. This is what my room looks like. This is my setup. I have uh, the Rocket 8s uh, in the back, and I also have a Rode microphone that I use for singers, and just whenever I want to record someone saying words or whatnot. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I love these headphones. These are the uh, Audio Technica M70X. I'm not trying to sell them or anything. In fact, they have broken like three times on me. But, and I, when I mean broken, I mean like physically snapped and I had to send them in and repair them. Uh, but the sound is amazing, so if that's what you're going for, you should definitely go to Audio Technica products for like dope sound. Yeah, I'm always working on something. I'm always working on like a song or an instrumental. What, what I mean by instrumental is a lot of times I work on like background or songs that would go with like a vocalist. And I've actually made quite a few of them in the past past few months but uh, each time I finish one I don't think it's good enough so I go to like a different one the one I'm working on right now is kind of like a ballad like a ba ballad ba ballad 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 so I'll just play a little bit of it it's got like a nice groovy beat to it and I'm gonna play it I'm gonna play it right before it goes into like a groovy part Yeah, that's all I'll play uh, for now. I think the things that, that are inspiring me to write this one right now is like, it's kind of like a mixture of uh, like Zed mixes, like paper cut, and maybe like Dead Mouse somehow, like melodically. I'm not sure. It's got like a really sad melody to it. This one is also instrumental, so I'll need like a vocalist for it to be finished. But yeah, for my music now, I like to keep it interesting, so I'm trying to use as many different elements as possible. Like, later on, the song gets to this level. There's this whistle that I use. Eventually the song has like a, a movie scene part, which actually this part is like, I'm still working on all of this, but that part is like very much inspired by Paper Cut by Zed. And uh, there, there's like this, this pickup truck or backing up truck sound that I use. Yeah, I like thinking of uh, real world 
objects and just kind of like seeing how to incorporate them into mixing and production. I think it's just because it makes it more interesting uh, to produce if you just like think of sounds you haven't heard in songs before and you try and make it work melodically and then you add it. But yeah, that's probably like one of the best things you can do in production. So yeah, I hope you guys stick around for more videos. Uh, I'm gonna be like talking all about my life and uh, how it is out here. Thanks for sticking around and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.